Imagine living next door to a major university library, entirely free to access and always open. Imagine that the library also has the world's leading collection of human-animal bond research organized and classified to the highest scientific standards. This library doesn't just house published literature, it also contains unique collections of unpublished technical reports, data sets, audio-visual material, and digitized primary sources. It is open to all who are interested in how animals can benefit society and welcomes visitors ranging from the pet owner to the healthcare specialist, giving them research tools appropriate to their needs and providing space for collaboration across disciplines. Imagine no longer. Welcome to Habri Central, the new online information hub and virtual library. So Habri Central is a resource for professionals and scholars and uh, people working on the study of the human-animal bond. It serves as an online resource free to access as a very important uh, solution for international uh, researchers. Habri Central consists of four primary components, a bibliography, a repository, a publishing venue, and a community resource. We're calling it a hub. It's a place where researchers from around the world and from many different contexts can come together to study important areas in this field uh, together and to network uh, and to produce scholarship together. This hub will provide access to massive amounts of data, including the full text of books, multimedia, and many other sources. It will also include a new journal allowing users to publish original scholarship to a wide audience seeking information on the human-animal bond. There's so much information that how to really access the information, share the information, has always been a problem. Uh, and listservs and other things are, are so limited. It would be wonderful to have a truly internationally accessible platform uh, because it's an international interest. My understanding uh, and my intent in the long term is that we try and identify all types of resources, uh, not just print and not just electronic, but also the multimedia and uh, the gray literature. And by gray literature, I mean the hard to find, uh, white papers. And so hopefully uh, we can make this more transparent and more open for many people, and then uh, more research can be built upon that. Having this resource for the human-animal bond community will bring scholars, practitioners, and citizen scientists together in a way never before possible to explore the central importance of the link between humans and animals and advance our knowledge of the human-animal bond together. People have been with animals for since they, we lived in villages, and animals were always very important. It turns out there was more and more empirical evidence that the relationship was more than just companionship and more than just fun. It really started changing the health profiles of people. Obviously, the animals benefit from the relationship. So the study is to really understand what are the, what's really going on. Are animals, as we think they are, really very much part of the strategy for human survival? that it plays into our social support system where we care to, uh, with each other, we're very nurturing, but we also benefit from the caring and nurturing of our, our companion animals. I think, I think it's, it's, it's important to, to knowledge. It's essentially an attempt to establish the architectonic or the architecture of uh, the field of human relationships with animals which is huge. I mean, it ranges from comparative studies on uh, linguistics and semiotics and all that, all the way towards with human health and animal health and so forth. And if we don't understand what we're examining, we will not examine it as well. I'm pretty sure of that. So what is Habri Central? Habri Central is a bibliography, a repository, online publishing venue, and a digital community hub entirely devoted to advancing the study of the benefits of the human-animal bond for pet and human health. Welcome to the Library of the Future.